Trisha had a long week at work. Finally, after a lot of hardships, she got the opportunity to interact with one of her major clients, but things took a turn. She suddenly lost her train of thoughts and could not figure out what just happened and eventually messed up things. What Trisha faced is something called a communication barrier, which hinders the communication flow between two or more people or groups. Let's find out what really happened. Hello guys, welcome to XIM University School of Communications XCEL. In this module, we will be looking at how to effectively communicate and learn about the eight different types of communication barriers according to the book Human Communication by Joseph A. D. Vito and Stop Being Invisible, Overcoming Communication Barriers by William Lane. As said by Tony Robbins, the quality of your life is the quality of your communication. If we look around and observe the world as it is, this world that we live in is full of communication. From the chirping of birds in the morning to crickets croaking at night, people and animals are constantly exchanging information through a wide range of channels. Whether you are working on a group assignment, interacting over a Zoom call or just nodding your head in the class, you are communicating in some way or the other. You have heard the cliche, communication is key, haven't you? There is a reason that this phrase is so often repeated. Effective communication clears up ambiguity, simplifies cooperation, promotes production and improves morale. Sounds great, right? But here's the catch. Effective communication is not an easy task. In fact, it can be downright hard. There are several issues and challenges in the communication process, which frequently results in the occurrence of communication barriers. Now, let's begin with the first barrier to effective communication. Wait, wait, shall we go the other way around? Let's first see how things took a turn in Trisha's life because of these barriers. Yaar, this week just felt like a year. I can't even tell you how terrible the first week at work was. I mean, why always me, bro? Like, dekh na how hectic our lives have become. You know, it's like... Ah, somebody just answered the doorbell, bro. What happened, Baba? Calm down. I'm sure whatever it is, we can talk it out, right? Or bus door will it hai yaar. I'm waiting. You go and check the door. Ha, okay, wait. I wish people at work would have normalized this. <laughs> what? Normalize people ringing the door will? Ha! <laughs> now tell me. Okay, here's the thing. This Monday, I joined that company I got an offer letter from No. So, you know, the moment I joined the introductory call, somebody had to ring the doorbell and. You know what? That was not it. When I came back and closed my door, mom had to barge in and ask ki darwaza kyun de rahi hai. And my audio was on, man. I mean, how unlucky can one be? The barrier faced by Trisha is known as physical or environmental barrier. And if you are picturing closed doors, high raised walls and blocked areas, then you are on the right track. This barrier takes the form of an object or sound that causes an obstacle in conveying the message. Oh shoot, but I hope they were really cool about it, right? Yeah, yeah, they were cool only, but bro, it was my first day at work. Just imagine how embarrassing that would have been for me. I understand, yaar, I get it. And you know what? The next day, I was asked to join a group call. And I was really excited and looking forward to it. But like half an hour into the call, I was almost on the verge of crying. Like, why? What happened? Did anyone just shout at you or something? No, no, nothing like that. Actually, you know, starting me, it was all right. I was noting down and stuff. But then after a point, they started using some colloquial terms. And there were like a lot of jargons and technical terminologies. So... So I'm sure all of us would have faced this scene where we would have tried to converse with someone who speaks a different language. It is important for us to remember 
that this isn't just about different dialects but about jargon and the use of technical knowledge. This describes the semantic and the language barrier. Acha acha, I got it. So everything just bounced off, right? I really feel bad for you, yeah. Wait, wait. Need not feel it right now. There's a lot more to it. So you know, I have these two other co interns who walk with me, and one of them is a little more experienced than us. So you know, he was here before I joined, but now, so we are on the same page, right? But he has to take an upper hand every now and then, and you know, say no to every idea that I pitch in. That. Kind of demotivated me for the rest of the week. I was not even able to think creatively. Some people have a habit of starting an argument when someone counters their opinion. As a consequence, people try to avoid them, which has a negative impact on both personal and professional relationships, resulting in socio-psychological barrier. Why don't you discuss this with your mentor? Maybe solve ho jaye. You never know. No, yeah, I'm just a newbie. I can't go around complaining, right? Wait, do you know? I discovered a very interesting fact this week. Ki people working in the industry do not really like to be quoted as sir and ma'am. You know, I felt like it's a very cool working culture, but it was very new to me. These roadblocks are related to hierarchical factors, which are issues with an organization's structure or systems. lack of supervision or training lack of clarity in roles and responsibilities and other flaws in organizational design adds up to the organizational barriers ha ja ha cha okay so let me just say this to you if this makes you feel better okay i have been through the same scenario and so much so that they wrote to me in a mail saying that i need to call them by their name that's sad And to my bad luck, I messed up the only good thing that was supposed to keep me sane. Like I got an opportunity to directly interact with one of our major clients. But when I called up this person, the worst was just about to happen. I had no clue that he lives in Canada, and it was midnight there. I was so ashamed of it, na. I could not even apologize properly, and that kind of added up to his anger. Like when people from different cultures communicate in different ways, such as speaking in different languages, difference in the concept of time, all of this makes it difficult for them to communicate effectively. This is the reason why Trisha was ashamed during the client call. Oh God! I can't just imagine what would have happened next. What else was supposed to happen? Everyone was a little annoyed at me, bro. I was not even in a state to explain myself. and the only good opportunity of mine was smoothly passed on to my co intern because my team leader thought him being a guy would handle the client really well what like seriously yeah then in the next team meet i was really down as of what all had already happened and i was not really participating you know so out of nowhere this co intern only called and helped me calm down But since I already had my perception set about him, I think I was a little harsh on him, thinking was sympathy de raha tha. But I guess he genuinely helped. I know that was long, but were you able to figure out the three types of barriers that Trisha and Ishani were discussing all about? Okay, consider a situation when you had to communicate with someone and they insisted that their view was correct and they refused to listen to any other point of view. that's an interpersonal barrier in action next there are many misconceptions and generalizations about how men and women communicate differently you know what i'm talking about right that's a gender barrier okay now imagine going into a meeting with the expectation that it would be a complete waste of your time how inclined are you to listen closely Isn't it true that your motivation is at an all-time low? That's a perceptual barrier. Ah, that poor guy. I think you should thank him later, maybe. But anyways, it's okay, yeah. Nowadays, it's really very okay to have a bad week, you know, because that's how we get to learn. But yes, try to be little focused next time onwards. Now I guess somebody is ringing our doorbell as well. I got to go. and it will be all fine do not worry okay bye acha okay bye 
It's definitely hard to overstate the importance of communication in the workplace, but it's not always easy. And that is because there are a number of barriers that stand in our way. We hope this module would have helped you identify them, understand them and steer around them. Till then, keep learning.